PlayGameGuru.com. This is Mike Fee. Welcome back. This is uh, an unboxing taste test video. First uh, one that we've done in like months. And today we have Boxu, a, uh, a subscription box. There's a lot of treats from Japan. If if you are looking on my Facebook or my Instagram, I've already taken the liberty of taking pictures of it. So we're just barely getting to the taste test due to being sick. You know how the con flu is. I got a, and I had a bad case of it this year. So without being without that being said, we're gonna uh, slide open the box, take a look at the treats, and we're going to see how they taste. This is going to be my first time tasting Japanese treats other than like Haichu, Paki, and all that other stuff that you that uh, that you uh, get at like, you know, the, the the basic ones that you usually get. So we're, we'll be right back and take a look. Okay, so now before we get into the uh, to the box, we're going to do a little quick uh, recap on what this month's theme is, and this month's theme is Moon Festival. Uh, a holiday rooted in reverence Otsukimi, Otsukimi Moon Festival in Japan is a time to honor and appreciate the good harvest of the season and celebrate good tidings. Bringing more to come with offerings of rice on the 15th day of the 8th lunar month from the harvest Moon Festival in China and Vietnam to Sharapurumia in India to the full moon festival in Cambodia and many more beautiful celebrations. There are plenty of opportunities to appreciate what nature has to offer in the late summer months transitioning into fall. In Japan, the ho this holiday is celebrated by attending temples, eating mochi and noodles, and lighting incense. Unlike uh, festivals in the beginning of the season, the moon festival is more grounded in people celebrating the sole Japanese tradition of honoring the autumn moon. Learn the folklore and experience this, this time on a tradition with this year with our moon festival books. That's what the uh, paper insert told, says. And oh, another thing about Boxu is that they have they have three options. They have a classic, which is uh, 20 to 25 items, which is the box we have right now. There's tasting, which is a select uh, sample, like a little smaller sample, which is 10 to 14 items. And there's vegetarian, which is all vegetarian, uh, non-meat, non-animal products. So I'm guessing just rice, wheat, grain, and all that stuff. So that's nice. All right, now let's get to the box. So you have this nice moon pattern. And as we open it, Hopefully the food doesn't fall out. Okay. Yeah, I'd say everything's gonna fall out. Hold on. Oops. Ah, crap. Of course the bear wants to pop out. Okay. There we go. And like I said, it's full of treat various treats from various parts of Japan. And inside the lid, we got Happy Snacky. Share your box experience. Share your hashtag box experience for a chance to win a free box. So if you do decide to uh, get a single month, like these are this is a, like most uh, subscription boxes. These are monthly, and if you just decide to get one month, you want to hashtag it. They might draw your name for a free box. So, Chips, cookies, as you can see. So, next we're gonna spread it all out. Let's see what we got. And here we are. This is the spread that we have. That's inside the box. This is about two, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, thirteen, fourteen. About fifteen to twenty items. Uh, not including uh. There's two teas, and everything else is either chip or some sort of candy. Uh, prior, like I said, was we pre-opened the box, and 
curiosity got the better of not just me, myself, but uh, my sister. So we kind of already ate one. This was the... I'm going to focus. The big chocolate. It was really good. Really good chocolate. Not like most... Um, I had to compare it. It would have... I would compare it to... Uh, brownie? Of some sort? Like... Not the uh, home cooked brownies, but more of like the uh, well, not the home cooked brownies, but uh, closest thing for me uh, I would have to describe would be the brownies that I uh, I get over at uh, Bill Miller's. If you're in Texas, you know what Bill Miller's is. But anyways, it tastes something a little bit like that, but a little bit more richer, a uh, richer chocolate. And um, it was really good for that. So yeah, we uh, jumped the gun. This is really good. And so we're gonna go one by one, or I'm gonna go one by one. Uh, show you the the treat. I'm gonna take a quick uh, quick snack. All right. First up, we have the meat 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 rashi mochi. This chewy mochi is inspired by the traditional Japanese specia specialty, Mitarashi Dango. Energy from Kyoto, Mitarashi Dango is made with mochi that is grilled on a skewer and, and has a sweet soy sauce glaze. The name Mitarashi comes from the word for a bubbling fountain at the entrance to a shrine. It's still a popular street food throughout Japan, especially around the holidays. With a pullable mochi outside and sweet soy sauce filling, this mochi turns a traditional snack into a portable delight. delight. So, it's manufact manufactured by Kubota Seikai, product of Nagano. The snack is sweet. Uh, common allergens are wheat and soy. It doesn't contain anything else, and it's not vegetarian. This is what's really cool about uh, Baksu that I've seen so far from uh, the other Japanese uh, subscription boxes is that these, they show you like if it's, uh, if it contains any allergy, peanuts, stuff like that, and uh, where it's from, manufacture, so it's really cool. So this is the mochi. Excuse the way that it looks. If it looks melted, it's the Texas heat. Why can I say, you know, everything melts. We're not on fire, but still feels like it. So now it's going to be time for the taste test. Okay. So first up, like I said, mochi. Yeah, more or less. So we got your mochi right here. Ah, there we go. That's better. And like I said, uh, thanks to Texas heat, it uh, melted some of it, but I managed to put it in the fridge for a while. And first time with mochi. Feel soft. I'd like to get goose right now. And you're. Ah! Oh! Not that sticky. A little bit. It's a little cheap. As they say in Japan, itadakimasu. Oh, that's a little bit. <laughs> oh, let's just see. Oh. Wow. 
It's, it's weird. It's weird taste. The outside, the white part, almost like a. <clears throat> much more taste, but without. <coughs> oh, sorry. Mm. Much more taste without all the sugar. It's pretty good. <coughs> oh, sorry. I ate it too fast. And the middle part was a sweet soy sauce. Almost like a honey. Weird. Good, but it's weird. Alright, next we have the Fun Funwari Meijin Mochi Puffs. Kuromitsu Kinako. These airy Kuromitsu Kinako Mochi Puffs will melt in your mouth, leaving you with a delicious flavor of Kinako, which is a uh, roasted soybean, brown sugar, and a hint of chocolate. Kuromitsu literally means black honey or black sugar syrup. And it's the word used for Japanese brown sugar syrup. These mochi are made with 100% Japanese mochi gome rice that is pounded and transformed using a unique technique pan process, process into lighter than air confections. Afterwards, they are covered in brown sugar syrup, cocoa powder, and kinako powder for a sweet and nutty flavor. So the whole uh, pounding and transform, that's a, uh, you've seen some videos when people go to uh, do the looking for treats in Japan. There's these two, maybe three guys in a confectionery shop, in a, a stone or wooden bowl, the giant mallet, and two guys are pounding the rice dough. And this one guy putting his hand, he's kneading it as the two guys are pounding the hammer without trying to hit him. That's what the mochi is. So this is fried mochi. It's not like the other mochi we just, we just I just tasted, but kind of looks like, again, since I'm from Texas, kind of looks like beaver nuggets. Uh, these are like corn puff, sweet corn puff, caramel type things. So now let's work on it. And here we have puffs. There we go. And let's open them up. There we go. They smell like beaver nuggets. What's this? It's basically a beaver nugget. <laughs> oh. The texture's the same, but well, the taste is the same. Texture is pretty much the same too, is that the beaver neck is a little more crispier. Oh wow. Mm. This tastes exact these taste exactly like beaver nuggets. It's crazy. <laughs> these are really good. I like I like these. I like these. Alright, next we have the Yusuyaki 
Shokuni Chibisuke Konson Ko Consome Black Pepper flavor. Sorry, I screwed that up. Inspired by the flavorful clear soup con consome that is made from bouillon, this snack is powerful, powerfully peppery. While consome can sometimes be served chilled, the added black pepper in this snack makes that variation a distant memory and will give you give your tongue just a little heat and maybe a kick in the pants. The small craftsman mascot is a throwback to the humble Sin Sinbei and will have you remembering just how amazing it is that flavor can be packed into this tiny little snack. Uh, manufacture. Oh, sorry. Uh, the. Let me see. Okay. Oh, the ma oh, about the uh, Japanese beaver nuggets. They're manufactured by A. Each Age Go Seikai. Common allergies, milk and soy, product of Nigita, and that's for the uh, mo the mochi puffs earlier. This is uh, manufactured by Sakata Sakata Beka, product of Yamagata. Uh, snack is savory. It's not a vegetarian. There's meat and soy in it, and that's about it. So these are really just pepper chips, pepper crackers, something like that. So we just get you tasty. Chips, see if we can pull this in. Alright. Little chip man. Back to me. And it up here. Okay. Oh, my fingers. It's just that's why we got scissors on here. Oh my god. Here we go. There we go. Oh, oh. Just by that little tiny. That little opening just made I just got a whiff of pepper. Ooh, that is peppery. And it's a little, little cracker. Super peppery. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> it's not a bad taste. It's just... Because this corn. That's the corn. Like, um... Not a corn chip, but more of like a uh, corn nuts. That's how it tastes, the texture, the crunch. That is definitely a corn nut. But the pepper, wow. Mm. That's a strong, <coughs> that's a strong, strong, too much pepper for me. Mm. I feel like this would be good, do good with a, with a beer. It's so savory. one of those things where it's like with hot cheetos it's it tastes so good 
but it's hot and it's like burn like spicing up your tongue but it's so good but it tastes so good that you just can't help but eat more that's what this that's what this tastes like oh well, that's the feeling it gives off well, yeah. it's good but if you don't like pepper you're gonna have it's gonna it's kick next we have a black sesame again my honey soy sauce flavor manufactured by King Godo product of Tokyo there's some allergens in it, wheat and soy, so if you're allergic to wheat and soy, don't eat it. Snack is savory, uh, there's nothing else in it, and it is actually vegetarian. This special rice cracker is made with goma, black sesame, and genmai, brown rice, baked into it. This unique, earthy flavor and pure sesame taste are impossible to miss. There's a delightful coating of honey soy sauce that gives it a sweet spin on something we should normally expect mommy from. When you take your first bite, focus on the earthy tones of the snack and the toasty flavor of roasted brown rice will reveal itself to you. What is earthy tones? What does that mean? It's like, what, like, not, like, tea? Because tea can be earthy. Fruits like carrots and potatoes can be earthy, like starchy. I guess I don't know. Well, let's open up and see what it is. Okay. Use the scissors. Snip, snip, snip. Oh, <coughs> that's just me coughing. Nice. Just there. That's the other side. There we go. Look at all that texture. Back to me. Oh what? Oh. That was a hard bite. Hmm. When you take that first bite, you know it's sesame right away. Some other taste there. I think I'm. They said wait for the roasty rice taste. I can taste a little bit of the honey soy sauce that's on the coating. And I taste the soy, the, the sesame seed. But there's that other, I can't. Hmm. I can't place. Because it's a taste that I've tasted before. But from somewhere else. And I can't put me. It's a good, it's good. It's just. This is one of those like, where have I tasted this before? I think it's the. It said there's brown rice and like roasted brown rice. Can't, that can't be it. Whatever it is, it just tastes really good. I like it. Mm. I would have that again. Next, all right. Next, we have our another chip style tree, scone barbecue flavor, manufactured by Ko Koi Koi Kokia, powder for Tokyo. Snack is savory, it's not vegetarian, and the common allergies contain milk, wheat, soy. This scone is anything but sweet. The barbecue flavor on this corn snack is delightfully saucy 
in the perfect pairing for enjoying the Moon Festival. A 10 out of 10 in both texture and flavor, this snack has grilled corn and barbecue taste that is complimentary to any summertime event. The crunch will also, the crunch will also make this the first thing you want to grab all the time. Mm. I mean, I'm, I know that all places have their type of barbecue, but when <clears throat> when you say barbecue, or when you think barbecue, straight away you go to American barbecue, uh, the barbecue sauce at least. It's tangy, flavory, a little bit of heat, a little bit of spice. Well, that's what I think of when I hear barbecue. And I'm pretty sure, I mean, I know, I know, every, I know there's in that part of the world they have their style of barbecue but I don't like that spicy tangy like tart flavor I don't think that's as common as how with our barbecue well, that's just me I'm not, I, I don't know what I'm talking about so let's get on to the snacks I got scones I like their little Mascot guy. Gorilla man. Pretty sweet. And focus on me. There we go. Trees. Okay, these are still good. Scissors to rescue again. That's definitely mesquite. Oh, I show you. That's what it looks like. Let's see. Almost like a Cheeto. Yeah, yeah it's definitely like a Cheeto. That's what I thought. So, mesquite flavor. American. It's really good. It's like Cheetos are only cheese or hot. There's no like other flavor. So this is a corn snack. Grilled corn. Only corn, <clears throat> only corn type chip, I guess you can say, that we have, or that I know we have, is Fritos. The corn chips, the Frito chips. But, like, super salty. And of course, there's like chili cheese, and, um, uh, Sea salt, low sodium, jalapeno flavor. But I don't think I had a, a Frito chip that's barbecue. This is really good. I like this. I definitely get barbecue flavor. More barbecue flavor, please. Next chip. All right, our next chip thing is Nure Asagi Sen Katsuo and Ume flavor manufactured by the Shingura product of Chiba snack is savory common fit common allergies are milk fish wheat and soy and that's it so the team Botsu thank you guys for again for sending the box I absolutely adores all types of Japanese rice crackers which is why we are thrilled to introduce the Nure Agasen Moist Rice Cracker. 
This beautifully wrapped senbei is a little different from our usual country variety that we feature in our boxes. Instead of the normal snap you get, you might expect when you bite into the snack, this cracker has a little bit more of a satisfying, satisfying tear. This crack, thanks to the added traditional flavors of ume, dry plums, and katsuo, skip jack tuna flavor, you'll be so enraptured with the umami flavors that you'll be polishing the bag off in no time. So there's a dry plum and tuna. That's a weird combination. I mean, I just barely got into these, uh, uh I forgot what, what's the name of it, but these, these shrimp chips that Walmart sells that have, they have in their Asian section. There's these shrimp chips that I buy sometimes. I'm also really good and they just like shrimp. So, not too big on fishy flavors unless it's like cooked or you know, like you know, sushi or whatever. Uh, on chips, uh, that's or rice cracker, I guess, since they call it a rice cracker. Well, we'll see. Let's get stuck into it. Next package. Good. Actually, this is. We're packaging really nice. That is a fishy. That is a fishy, fishy snap. Looks like it. I can tell what it doesn't have a crunch like it said, it's more of a tear. You can taste the plum a little bit. And that other flavor that's in there, I can't really describe it. I'm guessing See, that's the shipjack, shipjack, skipjack, skipjack tuna. Doesn't taste like a tuna, that's for sure. Uh, weird, it's a weird, weird taste, but I don't hate it. I actually like it. Definitely a weird taste, but really good, really good. Next one now. All right, next is Black Sesame Taiko Kumamon Design by the Iwata Corporation. Snack is sweet, common allergens, tree nut, soy, product of Kumamoto, and it is vegetarian. Now, it kind of looks like the black sesame genmai, which I'm guessing is more or less the same ingredients, just different uh, toppings. Anyways, it says Kumamon is here to make you fall in love with Kumamoto Prefecture. Made with frangit roasted almonds, black sesame, and mizume, this black sesame taiku is scrumptious. We love the 
the crunchy texture, and the way the sweet miso man mingles with those yummy nutty notes. Each little drum, which is taiko, is actually handmade in Kumamoto. First, the almonds and sesame are roasted and then mixed by hand with the mizume over heat. After mixing, it's hand pressed into disc and left to cool. They say one drum provides you with a full day's worth of sesame. That's weird. Anyways, fun fact, Kumo, uh, Kumamoto Prefecture and Kumamoto City are sister cities to, sister, it's a sister city to Central Texas where I'm from. Fun fact. And this little black bear is an honorary San Antonio citizen. Why? Who knows? But it's to foster uh, cultural relations and all that nice stuff. So let's get to eating. Alright. Actually. You look surprised. Hmm. That's cute. Okay. It's open. Ooh, I can smell the nuts. The nutty. It's, uh, it's just one. It's a different texture from the sesame one earlier. The other one earlier. I can definitely taste the almonds and the sesame. Actually, this is much sweeter than the uh, the other one I had. The other sesame one, the uh, rice cracker. Mm. Again, this has a taste of it. I have had the same flavor combination before somewhere. I just don't know where. This is really bad. I like this one too. Thank you, Kumon. The rice cracker is very delicious. Alright, on to the next one. Alright, next we have. <clears throat> next we have. Oh. Next we have Oka Shinai Cheese Manju, manufactured by Banbai, product of the Akita Prefecture. Contains milk, eggs, tree nuts, wheat, soy. It's vegetarian, and snack is sweet. Remember, vegetarian, not vegan. Vegan is uh, no animal, animal uh, stuff. Meat, eggs, stuff like that. Be vegetarian, which is, you know, meat free. Anyways, don't know why I said that. Uh, manju is a traditional Japanese confection made with flour, rice powder, and buckwheat. Instead of the traditional red bean filling, this fluffy manju from Akita prefecture is stuffed with white bean and cheese, which results in a smooth and light flavor that is perfect to enjoy with a cup of tea. The excited smiley face on the manju is perfect reflection on how you'll be feeling after taking a bite of this treat. You'll be ecstatic that you finally get to try this delightful, delightfully soft and rich flavor snack. Alright. And yeah, so cheese. I mean, we have cheesecake here in the, in the West. And uh, I don't know how else you put cheese in a sweet other than in a cake. But let's give it a try. Alright, now we have. The cheese manju. Yeah, actually, like I said, 
Other than cheesecake, I don't know what else you put cheese in type in a type of sweet snack. Let me like uh, cream cheese. I don't know. Yeah, he's smiling. You're gonna eat me. <coughs> okay. Let's just, let's just bite into it. It's like a s soft, spongy. Cake? No. Okay. There's like the cream, I, it tastes like cream cheese. I don't get the cheese part because it doesn't say what type of cheese. So I'm guessing cream cheese. And that white bean paste. It's in the middle. Tastes so much, a little bit sweeter, way sweeter than the red bean paste from the uh, Uchi earlier. Oh, I <laughs> this all. Oh, well. Yeah, this is pretty good. But, shit it all. Pretty good. Light, fluffy, sweet. Cream cheese. I mean, a little bit lighter than cream cheese, because cream cheese has a... Taste is a little bit more heavier. Anyways, that was pretty good. I like that too. Next one. All right, next we have the Gudetama uh, Golden Pack. Tamango Kage Gohan flavor. One half of the Gudetama Golden Pack. This is from Nippon Sekai. Contains egg, fish, wheat, soy, pack of Chiba, and is savory. Oh, camera, stop moving. Uh, Sassy and Lazy Gurutama, this guy right here, is a Sanrio character beloved in Japan and across the world. Because Gurutama is Japan's most famous egg, we had to include him in our Moon Festival bo Boksu. You may wonder why, but we promise there's a reason. There are many Japanese dishes that feature a raw or fried egg and are called Tsukimi because the egg looks like the full moon. This particular snack is fluffy, puffy, and flavored like Japanese comfort food tamago, Kage Gohan, which features hot rice, soy sauce, and a raw egg stirred into it. This puff stick has the sa all the savory kick we expect with subtle notes of seaweed, sesame, and sugary from the fur furakake. I mean, it also, that sometimes he has this little butt sticking out. He's like mooning people. So this one treat, this is one of the treats I've seen before, well, not like in the stores, but there's an anime that's, that deals with all types of Japanese candies and sweets. I forget what it's called, but this uh, the this t this particular puffy snack thing is definitely featured in there. There are many variations of the uh, puffy treat. So let's get to opening. All right, this is the uh, okay. Oh, what? Nah. Excuse me.
looks like. Think of it as like a giant Cheeto. Oh. Yep. Oh. It's the egg. That's definitely egg. I definitely tasted the egg part. Is it see? Soy sauce? Uh, the soy sauce, yeah, that too. You can a hint of the soy sauce. Rice, I don't I don't get the rice part. This tastes uh, what does it taste like? Texture is like a giant Cheeto, Puffy Cheetos. Or almost like a Bunions a little bit. Mm. We're trying to figure, find out what that other taste is. I can't. It's real bad. The big puffy Cheeto. <clears throat> I think when I first finished it, I was like, whoa, shit, is that, that's an egg. Sorry. That's an egg. Oh, that's real good. I like this one too. More of that one, please. And on to the next snack. All right, so the next candy we have is the Usagi Chocolate Balls. They come in a set of three. So, well, I got one right here. Uh, manufacturer, the booklet says newest. Uh, common allergies, allergens, milk. Snack is sweet. Product of Saka and is vegetarian. Uh, we had to include these cute mini chocolates for their festive wrap design. They have a sugary outer shell and rich cocoa center. This snack was inspired by one of Japan's most famous folk tales, Suki no Usagi, the rabbit on the moon, which is often taught to children during Otsukimi while gazing at the full moon. There's even a children's song called Usagi meaning rabbit. When visiting Japan during the se this season, you're sure to see many rabbit decorations for the festivities. Uh, you can read more about this folk tale later in the guide. There's a thing about the, oh, the Usagi song. There's a little song that says, uh, Rabbit, rabbit, what are you looking at while you leap? It looks at the Hyoga moon while it leaps. <clears throat> uh, I guess in Japanese it says, Usagi, Usagi, Nani mite hanaru ju goya o su Kisama Mita Hanaru. That's as close as, you're gonna, as I'm going to get with the pronunciation. Let's get to the test. Alright, we got the little sagi. Whatever, it's a rabbit. Chocolate balls. It's your standard little chocolate ball. I mean, it's good chocolate, but nothing really, you know, it's just chocolate. I mean, I guess since the other snacks so far, I've been like, oh wow, I've never had this before. No, I had that before. It's a basic chocolate. So that's okay. 
It's a good, it's a good chocolate though. Next treat now. Huh? Alright, so the next treat we have is the ha Hakata Mitsuki Delicious Cheese Fancier. It's manufactured by the Hakata Fubon. Sweet snack from Fukuoka. Contains milk, eggs, tree nuts, meat, soy, and is vegetarian. Uh, this adorable crescent shaped moon financier, financier cake is named for the beautiful moon over Hakata, a neighborhood in Fukuoka. It has a delicate texture with a golden butter outside. The maker tastes, takes the traditional almond based batter of the financier cake and adds a subtle savory note with the addition of cheese. Semi sweet and rich in flavor, this little number keeps us wanting more. Great with a cup of tea, the delicious cheese. Fancy makes for a lovely dessert to finish off after evening of moon days. Another cheese type based snack. And uh yep, let's just get into it. And here's the cheese for this here. Snack. Let it choose in. Yep. Ah, there we go. Just like the cushion sheet one. Is buttery. Mm. A little nutty, like the almond. Mm. Almost like a, like a sponge cake feel, texture, but with more um, a bake, a little bit more baked and. Mm. Not bad for a little cheesy cake thing. It's good. And we got two more left. So let's get snapped into it. And next we have Ofu Fukari Shimichi. Manufactured by Itofu. Part of Kyoto. Snack is savory. It's vegetarian. Contains peanuts, wheat, and soy. Using ofu, Japanese wheat gluten, and seasoning from Kyoto, this perfectly baked assortment of smoked crackers and peanuts should be named UFO instead of, instead because it takes you to the moon. Ofu is another common alternative to tofu in Buddhist cuisine, and is loved for being more flavorful and with a more dense texture than tofu. Thanks to the balance of peanuts, the seven spice shi, shichimi, the flavoring is heavy but not overpowering and makes you Makes this snack a good pairing with something light yet flavorful like the kurumame tea. So, from the looks of it, it's like beer nuts? Or, or something you would serve at a bar. Since it's savory. And like I said with the uh, one of the other rice crackers, it has this flavor where like it would go down good with a, with a glass of beer. With a, Glass of beer, a bottle of beer. The, no beer right now, but we're gonna take you a taste of it. Alright, we got Ofu. Oh, it's. Okay, no, that's backwards. <laughs> uh, whatever. Open this up. Well, that was easy. Like I said earlier, kind of, they kind of look like beer nuts or bar nuts or bar mix. Yeah, I was right. 
Those are definitely bar mix. No, bar mix is like, um, you go up to a bar, and they have this little bowl of, like, peanut, mixed nut, like, peanuts, um, little, uh, bread, the little, like, breadsticks, pretzels, like, almost like Gardettos. I really like give you a savory, salty taste. And then these would go well. This would be really good with a beer. Let's use these little. Yeah. Okay, and last for all the uh, snacks is the chocolate azuki beans, black sesame kinako. Uh, manufactured by Denroku, having allerg allergens or milk and soy, product of the Yamagata Prefecture, snack is sweet, and it's vegetarian. First step in creating this addictive treat is simmering azuki and sugar syrup to make the amanato using a traditional process first created in the 1860s. However, snack, make snack maker Denroku Adds a modern twist by coating the beans with white chocolate and then finishing them off with goma, which is black sesame, and kinako, roasted soybean powder. The kinako flavor stole our hearts away with its nutty, peanut, peanut buttery taste. Thanks to this innovative maker, the humble Asuki bean has been transformed into a creamy, creamy confection. Hmm, peanut butter. I, I, uh, I do like peanut butter flavored uh, snacks. A nutter butter, butterfinger, uh, what else is peanut butter? Hey, like anything that has like peanut butter, creamy peanut butter, not the crunchy. I don't like crunchy. A creamy peanut butter, so that was intriguing me. So let's uh, dig into this last snack. So we got our final snack here. There we go. Yeah. And so I already uh, ripped into these earlier because I was having trouble. And uh, this is what it looks like. Back to me. Okay, and oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Kind of almost tastes like a sweet. I can't pin the flavor. Almost like a Boston baked bean, you know those little candied beans you see in the um, in the vending machines. These little, little like right next to the M and M's and the sweet tarts and these little candy vending machines. That's what it tastes like. Pretty good, really good. Enjoy that. All right, so that's gonna do it for the September Boxu snacks. I do have two teas that they sent. Those are gonna be a separate video because right now it's too hot for. <laughs> To heat up some hot water and wait for tea to uh, cool down so we're gonna stick with just the snacks for now the teas will come in another video probably after this one so yeah all the snacks are great except for the one that i did not like was the um uh no actually i did like i did like most of them the only i guess basic one was the chocolate usagi balls i mean it's just regular chocolate it's, it's good chocolate, but you know it's not like I had. We don't have chocolate here in the states, but yeah, um, I think my favorite ones were the scones. You know, I love that barbecue flavor. The one that took me by surprise was the um, the tamago uh, puff sticks. I didn't really. That's when you take your first bite, I'm like oh wow, that's a strong taste. But then afterwards, it it's just got you know, whoop, sticks gone. And yeah, there is about it. Uh, I want to thank Boxer for sending me over this box. It's a really, really tasty 
box. And uh, if you want, I think there's a discount code. I'll put it in the link below. There's a discount code for your chance to get 10% off for your first box. Uh, the URL is skipping me right now. So um, I'll link it in below if you want to get a, a discount code. And yeah, next month, I'm look, actually looking forward to because next month is Halloween. Halloween is big here in the States. And apparently they do... Halloween is a bit different in Japan. I'm not too sure. I mean, I've seen some videos about Halloween parties. And they party just basically just like the rest of us here in the States. But um, I think the snack offering is a little bit different since... And with Halloween, we get, you know, Snickers, Twix, uh, m and stuff like that. They're... Their candies and treats look like they seem to be a little bit more themed around the fall Halloween area. So, thank you for watching. Thank you for uh, joining us for this snack adventure. And we'll see you again next month. All right, take care.